we're going to work through this past exam question. It was taken from 2016, paper two, question three. The residual plot obtained when the least squares line was fitted to the data is shown below. So here is our residual plot. Then we read, a residual plot can be used to test an assumption about the nature of the association between two numerical variables. What is the assumption? So what assumption are you testing for when you make a residual plot? Well, your test or you're making the assumption that the association is linear. That's what you're testing for. So I'm going to write here, and I'm going to write it in blue, that the association is linear. That is the assumption that you are testing. All right, let's now move on to the next one. Does the residual plot above support this assumption? Explain your answer. So we come and we look at our residual plot and we're going to ask the question, does it support the contention that our underlying data has an association that is linear? The first thing that we would do here is I'm just going to draw over where the residual is zero. Now, we need to ask ourselves the question, is there a clear pattern? And there clearly is no clear pattern here. There is no pattern to be seen. It is random. And the fact that it is random is telling us that it's most likely a linear association. So an ideal answer to this would be something along these lines. Here's one I've prepared earlier, so we can just read it through together. Oh, there we go. Yes, the lack of a clear pattern, there's the keyword, a lack of a clear pattern in the residual plot supports the assumption of a linear association. So that would be your answer. So you're looking for whether or not there, it is random or not. Okay, let's dig into this a little deeper by going through our examiner's report, and that's going to help us out here. Okay, so part one here, 56% of people got it correct, so not that well done. You just have to say that the association is linear. That is the assumption that you're testing for when you create a residual plot. In part two here, the ideal answer is yes, since there is no clear pattern in the residual plot. So again, what we were after was a reference to no clear pattern. Okay, let's keep on reading. Reference to lack of reference to a lack of pattern or the randomness of the plot was required. And now it goes on to talk about what was unacceptable. An unacceptable answer was that the points are all scattered evenly above and below with no mention of randomness. So we've spoken about this previously, that when you do have a linear association, the residual plot will have will be evenly split above and below where the residual is zero. But that alone doesn't tell you that the underlying data is linear. That alone doesn't tell you that. That has to be paired with the randomness, that it is no clear pattern. So if you just said that it's evenly split, up, split above and below, you wouldn't have gotten your mark. What they wanted to see was yes, lack of a clear pattern. That is what they wanted because that tells you that you most likely have a linear association. Hopefully that makes sense and that you feel comfortable with this question. Make sure to reach out if you have any questions.